Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the bilateral rowing exercise technique that can be utilized by the physiotherapist in the stage 1 and stage 2 of hemiplegia recovery to retrain upper limb flexor and extensor movements and progress the patient into the stage 3. By utilizing this exercise, the physiotherapist will be successful in initiating and retraining the upper limb movements on the paralyzed side. And also those stroke patients can get benefited from the rowing exercise who find it difficult to reverse the movement. Like for example, many a times we see stroke patients that they can flex the upper limb in this way, but they find it very difficult to extend. Rowing exercise can help them regaining the ability to reverse the movements also. So let's start with the practical demonstration of this exercise. The patient and the therapist sit in front of each other and a handshake hold is used to perform the exercise. The therapist can also opt for using the thumb grip if the patient has already entered into the spastic phase. The therapist now explains the patient about the exercise movements and first rehearse them on the normal side followed by the hemiplegic side and then bilaterally. The push or the extensor movements of the rowing exercise are accompanied with forearm pronation and the pull or the flexor movement of the rowing exercise are accompanied with forearm supination. Patient is also instructed to move the trunk along with the movement of the limbs to mimic the action of rowing a boat. Once the patient becomes familiar with the performance of the movement, the therapist now starts resisting the movements on the normal side. Resisting the flexor and extensor movements on the normal side helps in the production of reflexive movements on the hemiplegic side. The patient is encouraged by the therapist to use reflexive movements in generation of voluntary effort. As soon as possible, the therapist now also starts resisting the hemiplegic side once the patient is able to produce the voluntary movements. This helps in the further strengthening of the flexor and extensor movements. In hemiplegic patients who have already developed strong flexor synergy, the therapist should only apply resistance to the extensor or the down and push movements in the end range. While keeping the elbow slightly flexed, in the end range of extension movement, the therapist gives command to the patient, hold your position, do not let me push your arm back. This results in the eccentric contraction and subsequent increase in the spindle activity of the triceps muscle, which further reinforces the patient's voluntary effort to extend the elbow. So once the patient is able to produce the voluntary flexion and extension movements, although they might not be of full range, we can consider that the patient has now entered into the stage 3 of hemiplegia recovery. Now it is here advisable that physiotherapists should not further devise strategies to strengthen the synergy patterns. Instead, now we can design treatment program to now take the patient to the stage 4 of hemiplegia recovery. So now the treatment strategy would be to break the upper limb flexor and extensor synergy. So very quickly let me just give one example which we can use to break the upper limb extensor synergy. So right now the stroke patient is able to generate a strong extensor force only when the shoulder is in the adducted position. So we can start with the upper limb weight bearing exercises in this position and then gradually we can keep on shifting the upper limb away from the midline. And once the patient is able to generate a strong extensor force in this position, then this signifies the breaking of 
the upper limb extensor synergy since the shoulder is now in a relatively abducted position and the patient can still generate strong contraction from the triceps muscle so the strong linkage which was previously existing between the adductors and the triceps is now broken so i sincerely hope that the information shared in this video is going to be helpful for you all through physio classroom we are trying to reach maximum physiotherapy students and young practitioners and you can also support us in this mission by maximally sharing our videos we'll see you all in our next video of broomstrom therapy series with yet another effective exercise till then keep learning keep sharing and stay connected